everybody, in this video we're going to talk about masks. Five cool ways to use masks. And without further ado, let's start with the first way. Something very simple, let's reveal a title. Someone crosses the camera and reveals the title. This technique can be used for many things, not just to reveal titles, but I'm gonna give you an example with the title. Okay, here we have the video where we can see that there is a guy that passes in front of the camera. You see, this is what we need. Something that passes in front of the camera so that we can reveal whatever we want. This is New York, so what we're gonna do is we just press T and we go in the middle of the screen and we're gonna type New York and let's do it with capital letters so it looks cooler. Now what we're gonna do is press V or come here to the arrow so that we can move it. We're gonna press control and holding control we can go around and we can center the image. You see it's very simple. Now we have to look for the first frame that we're going to start masking out, okay? You can see here if we go to this frame we can see actually here it's already revealing. We have to go one frame before and now it's covered. That is perfect. We're gonna start from there. So we come here to the effect controls and we're gonna come here to opacity and we're gonna create a mask. We don't have to worry much about the mask. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can just do something like this and something like this. For now, it's okay. Then we come back to the effect controls and we're gonna press invert it. And as you can see, there's no more image. We lost it, it's behind. So what we're gonna do is come in here to mask path and we're gonna start with the path. As soon as we click here in the little clock, it appears a keyframe. So we are starting now, but we don't see the mask. Don't worry, we come here, we press mask twice and you're gonna see again the mask that it's over here, so it's pretty cool. Now we're gonna go one frame forward. Let's go one frame forward. We can also press here and we go one frame forward. Now here, it's supposed to appear already the word New York. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start moving the mask and we're gonna come here. Be careful, we have to try to do it properly. It doesn't have to be so perfect, but let's try to do it properly, okay? Here and then over here, something like this. Now we press again here to go one frame forward. So we're gonna come here and I think it's gonna be fine there. I mean, it doesn't have to be that perfect because the guy is moving very fast, so it's not gonna be noticeable. So let's go here one frame forward again. Now we can see that the guy is moving faster and faster, so it's okay, it's okay. But there's not much to change here. We don't care about this part anymore because the New York word is not here, so it's okay. We just worry about this part over here okay now one more forward we are almost done one more and i think we are done with one more there you go now i think we are done there you go we have it easy very simple this technique can also be used as a transition when someone crosses the camera for example or you can do it in purpose panning the camera and maybe using a tree or something in front of the camera to cover it i'm gonna leave you a link over here and also in the description on how to do this transition because i made a video before now the second way to use masks we're going to delete an element from our video so what we want is to erase this lady if we put play we can see that she's walking in front of the camera so we want to erase her we just want to see the ocean how do we do. We come to the first frame. There you go. That's the first frame. What we're gonna do is duplicate our video. Holding out, okay? Holding it without releasing. We're gonna go up and look at this. We have already two videos. To avoid confusion, we're gonna click here in the eye. So the first video, the one on the bottom, is not visible now. We're gonna work with the top video, okay? So we're gonna come and we're gonna create a mask where it says opacity. We're gonna create this circle mask and as you can see, it's a big mask. So we're gonna center it and pressing shift and moving the mask like this all together is gonna be a perfect circle so that we can center the lady. Now that we have everything done, we come here to the effect controls and here in mask, we're gonna go to feather and we're gonna give her like 40%, I think it's gonna be enough. And in mask expansion, I think 70% would be enough. Now we're going to create a mask path, okay? We're gonna click, we have our first frame. We lose the mask, we just click here, we click it again and the mask is back, okay? Now, to avoid all of this automatic mask and waiting until Premiere Pro finishes, because she's walking in the same pace, I think we can do this. We come to the middle of the video and we just look for her. Let me see, she's here. Because we press to create the mask path and we created our first frame, now the second frame is automatic, you see? Now if we move it again, let's go to the end and then we just take out the mask out of the frame. I think she's not there, I think we can take it out. Okay, now just to check, we can press play and we can see that the mask is following her perfectly. Just in case 
the mask moves a little bit, what we can do is we put just pause and here we can fix it. We just move the mask and it's gonna be fixed. Like if we move it a little bit, you're gonna see that another keyframe is on and then we just press again play and we can see that everything is perfect. The mask is amazing, it's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is because we still see the lady, right? We're gonna press here invert. Now the lady disappeared. But of course, if we open the eye here, we're gonna see her again because the video on the bottom still has the lady. So the explanation of this method is that here we have an empty space, you see? There's no lady in this side of the screen. And if we move the cursor to the end, we can see that in this side, the lady is not there. So we have to move the video from the bottom a little bit, not to catch the lady. And because the lady is erased, you are not gonna see her. So look, we're gonna come here and we're gonna cut a little part of the video, like here, I think here is okay. We're gonna gonna move the video here and now we're gonna take out the eye and now the problem is solved no lady excellent as you can see very simple by the way I'm preparing a crash course on Premiere Pro it's gonna be for beginners and that's coming in a few weeks so you have to stay tuned because the day I'm gonna launch it I'm going to practically give it away but okay let's go now to the third way on how to use a mask what happens if you have a video and there's something in the video that you don't want to show for example a video of a family and you don't want the kids face to appear on the video it is very simple we can cover the face how can we do it with a mask of course okay to blur the face of the kid the first thing we're going to do is to duplicate this video so basically pressing alt we're just gonna go up we pull it and we have another video we're going to work with the top video now we're going to make a mask on the kids face we could use the pen and we could go into detail but then when we are going to do the mask path it's gonna be kind of more complicated so we're gonna do it with this circle with this ellipse and now we see always is very big so we're gonna do is exactly the same that we did with the lady that we raised in the beach Pressing shift, we can actually go like this and we can fit in the kid's face. I think this is okay. Now we're gonna look for an effect called blur and we can use the gush and blur and we're gonna put it on the top video that is basically the video that we are working with. Then we come to effect controls and we can actually see that we have here down gush and blur. But in blurriness it's in zero. So what we can do is we can go up, up, up and it starts to blur the face of the kid as you can see. Let's leave it in 70. We don't need to go that high, it's okay now. Okay, now that we have the face of the kid blur, you'd realize that we just blur one frame. We have to blur the whole video. So let's put the mask correctly. This is the first frame and we're going to do the mask path. We're gonna press here and let's see how Premiere is gonna work with this path. And Premiere Pro starts to create the keyframes on the path and I can see that it's doing it very, very good. If there is a problem, if you see that the kit or whatever you're going to erase or blur, it goes a little bit out of the mask, you can press stop, you just move the mask wherever it goes and this is gonna change everything here and then you press here the click on the mask path to keep going. But Premiere did an amazing job. Maybe here at the end, it's too close to the head of the kid so we can move it a little bit. But that's it, I mean, it's perfect. As you can see, we already did it and it was very simple. This way can be used also to cover like a brand of a product or a car plate or whatever you don't want to be seen. Now, another way, another title. We have a title that looks really cool but we want to decorate it a little bit. So we're going to put some lines on the top and on the bottom. Okay, we have this animation. It looks very nice, but you know what? It's kind of very simple. We wanna make it even better. So we're going to add here a couple of lines on the top and on the bottom, and the lines are gonna be also animated. So the first thing to do is to get out of here. You see that we are in the title and it's selected. So just click here in the empty, and there you go. Now you are not here. And we're gonna come and click in the pen. Now we're gonna make a line here, we start here, and we are gonna finish around here, but you have to press shift. So if you press shift, the line is gonna be straight. There you go. Now we're gonna come here to the effect controls where it says shape. We're just gonna open this, and we want the line to be white. So in fill, we're gonna go to white, and then here in stroke, let's give it a stroke. And now we can see the line, it says 10. We can actually make it thicker, but 10 is okay for me. Now we want to give an animation to this line. So how are we gonna do it? We're going to create a mask, of course. So to create the mask, because we're gonna do a very tiny mask here. So let's go to like 100%, so it's a little bigger, so we can see it better. 
And now we're gonna come here to effect controls and with the pen, we're gonna do such a tiny mask over here. We can actually leave it like that, it's perfect. Now, as you can see here, if we use the mask feather, it's in 10, but how are you gonna make the animation? We're gonna use the mask expansion. We create the first one. So you can see it's a little line. So we're gonna leave it just like that. Then we're gonna change it to make this disappear, okay? This is just to start. And then we're going to arrange the keyframes. Now here in the mask expansion, if we go up, you can see that the line starts to appear and we go all the way until it stops. There you go. I think that's enough. But now what happened? I don't want this little line to be here. If you see mask expansion is already in zero. How are we gonna erase it? We are going to go to minus and as you go to minus the line disappears let's give a little smoothness to the animation so we select these keyframes right click and auto vizier we have our animation done now let's fit the video in the screen so we can see everything remember that i wanted a line on the top also we come here to graphic that is the line and we're gonna duplicate it pressing alt you just pull up and you have the duplicate. The duplicate is in the same position, so what you have to do is to move it, to move it up. Don't do it with the vector motion because this vector has the shape, the masks, it's gonna get crazy, something crazy is gonna happen. You go all the way to the bottom where it says video. In the video, there you move it. As you can see, we're going, moving up, 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 and I think there is okay. And now we have our animation. Also, very simple and very easy. It is very cool to decorate our animations because it makes them look more professional. Now for the last example, I'm gonna use a video and a lot. Here I have this video, the colors are very nice, but now I want to add a lot. So we're gonna go to the color panel. In creative, we're gonna look for the color that I wanna add. The color is very nice because these blue colors are giving always this, this cold in the scene and I like it. The problem with this scene is that as soon as we put the lot, her face also changed the color. Her face is bluish, greenish we don't want that we want her face to be normal the rest can be blue but not her face so what we do is we're gonna duplicate this video and we're gonna add everything to the top video like we are doing since the beginning but I'm gonna use the circle for now I can adjust the circle to her face so let's do like that and I think this is gonna be fine now here in this mask we're gonna go to basic correction and here I want to fix these colors so because it became bluish we're gonna go to warm colors now maybe if we go to 10 let's go to 10 and now in the tint we can go a little bit to the pinkish color so let's go to six now I want to add a little bit of highlights and maybe I want to add some shadows as well and I think this is what I want so okay we finished with the color part let's go back to our workplace and now we're gonna play with the mask when we did the mask we were here look in the middle let's go to the first frame let's arrange the mask again what we're going to do is a mask path we're gonna press here in the triangle and it's starting to create the key frames as we see but we have to see the face if the mask moves a little bit that is wrong we have to put stop and we have to fix it I can see that she's moving the head down and the mask is going with her so this is pretty cool let's wait until some mistake is gonna happen there I put stop because the mask is moving towards the right side so we go back and then as you can see it creates a new frame and I just press the triangle again to let it finish and that's it, Premiere did an amazing job. If we can see her face is very nice, the colors are very nice. If I stop, you can see the difference. It is very nice. If you click here in the eye, you can see the difference. This is how it was, this is how it is now. I like it. And everything that I'm doing is very simple, so you have to do it. A while ago, I gave away a pack of lots, so if you didn't download it, it's completely free. I'm gonna leave you the link over here and also in the description. People, I hope you like this video. Now it's time to edit, so see you next week.